Hey guys, it's Wrecker, and I am playing Civilization V Brave New World once again. This is episode 6. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will link to them in the description. Otherwise, we're starting right where we left off, and we have taken out the Asyrians. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're gonna get this city up to, uh, speed in terms of happiness, and get that courthouse in there to help out, uh, because there are definitely gonna be a lot of very unhappy civs. Uh, sitting in this thing, you can see that I'm at negative 12 right now, so uh, my empire is extremely unhappy because of this city. Uh, but, again, we're going to get it up to speed, and things should be much, much better soon. And I think we're going to try to aim for some peace, aside from maybe dealing with these city-states here. We've still got Sidon up here that's very upset with us, and also Hong Kong is in the middle of our empire. And I'm thinking about potentially taking him out. Or him or her. Or those people. Um, I guess I shouldn't refer to this as a, a single person. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get going uh, here. So, you can see here I've got this huge military force still. A lot of catapults. I could upgrade them if I want. I'm kind of contemplating disbanding most of them, though. And, uh, let's see if there's anything else going on here. Rebels up here. That's no fun. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I need to get this great person out of here. And we need to call back some units. See, this is a result of all the unhappiness, unfortunately. I have got a... Oop, wrong thing. Because of all this unhappiness, I'm going to have to start dealing with uh, the rebels, so... Kind of a pain in the ass. Let's see if I could actually purchase anything yet. Nope. So it's probably going to be a turn or two. But I should be able to, I think, purchase a courthouse. Go to our next turn. Uh, needs orders. Uh, here's another great general. We're going to park him inside Nineveh for a bit. And aside from that, I think we're going to be okay. As you can see, I've got no growth in my cities, most likely because of the unhappiness factor. Yeah, it says uprisings may occur. It'll occur once every few turns until you correct the situation. Well, I am doing my best, I can sure you, assure you that. Alright. Where where are those knights? I sent, uh, I thought one was taking the roads. I know we got one here. Oh, we got, a uh, horsemen. Alright, so I'm going to send my horseman out to assist. He's not going to be as tough as the knights, but since they're barbarians and they're in our lands, uh, we are getting some really good bonuses that help out quite a bit. Alright, so I think I might upgrade him. Yeah, I'm going to do it. That way he is stronger next turn. And uh, dude, happiness plus 10, that would be great right now. But I think... Oh, I could rush it. We're going to go for Notre Dame. And uh, let's go ahead and rush this thing. Hurry production. There we go. One turn, Notre Dame will be done. Happiness is going to be much better. We won't have to worry about the rebels. Uh, that could not have come at a better time. And uh, yeah, let's go. Alright. We're going to... Have this rider just kind of park there for a moment. And let's get this uh, Notre Dame done. Oh, we also have to connect a Sir. We are waiting for the city states. Whoa! There we go. Happiness, happiness plus 10. No more rebels to worry about once we get rid of these ones. God damn it. These damn knights are pillaging. Okay, well, I can probably turn around the other knights now. Let's actually keep these guys local. Because we do want to deal with Sidon, so we're going to actually send these all up. We're going to get these catapults ready to go, too. And like I said, uh, we will potentially then retire the catapults. I don't think we're going to need this much siege for a while. I mean, this is just a ridiculous amount. Although, what is China doing? 
with their swordsmen. That's kind of weird. Alright, uh, next up, I'm thinking... Let's see... Uh, spice. Oh, I got a spy. I got I got to uh, assign that spy some things to do here. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna go for that aqueduct. Unfortunately, it's gonna finish a little bit late. Uh, so we're gonna send our spy out. Let's see, who do we want to spy on? Um, the Aztecs have some really really amazing cities. So I think I'm gonna spy on the Aztecs. And we're gonna move to tech, whatever. You want him to be a diplomat. Um, a spy can be a diplomat if they are placed in the capital of another civilization you are not at war with. If war is declared, your spy will escape the city. A diplomat will not attempt to steal technology from the other player, but will still provide intrigue. Once the World Congress convenes, you'll be able to determine their opinion on proposals and trade. Um, I think I'm going to spy. So hopefully that goes well, and hopefully they don't catch my spy, because that would be really bad. Alright, I'm feeling so much better right now about our happiness. Oh, and we need to build another merchant! Alright. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and hopefully finish these guys off. Nope. Wait, yeah? Are we? Okay, it looks like they're dead. No, they're not. Damn it! Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine with what we've got actually up here uh, to take out that city-state. And then we'll have to make up our mind on Hong Kong. Alright, so let's go and f uh, make something else here. I know that we're really, really go good on gold. Um, I think I'm gonna build the the constabulary here. Yeah. I want the extra stealing, just in case anybody is higher tech than me right now. Actually, let's go ahead and pull this down and go to our research tree. Alright, so we're done with steel in one turn. I think we were rushing gunpowder, actually. Oh my god, all these catapults. Alright, well I'm gonna set up these catapults in a defensive position, actually. We'll bring this knight over here. Just in case China wants to try to do something. You never know with the AI. Let's see, can these guys... Nope, they can't get there either. Damn it. Alright. This should probably be really uh, quick for us when we move in. I don't think Sidon's going to be able to protect itself against all these catapults. I think we're doing really, really well this game. Um, early on, I did have some people that kind of questioning some of my decisions, but there you go. A purchase with faith. Oh, okay. Now I can get. Um, I can actually get some religious units. All right, this guy's gonna regret. Going to war with me, even though he's with his ally. Alright. Uh, do I want to pillage right now? I'm not too worried about... ...the city-state rushing anything, so I'm not gonna really pillage there. Okay. There we go. That's been taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and get these knights and put them in the city, just to deter anyone from attacking me, and... Aside from that, we're done with this turn. I do need to start spreading my religion, though. So, actually, let's see. I can't get, uh, or I don't have enough for missionaries yet. Alright, um, people that like to smile the most, well, we're certainly not the most happiest. We're the least happiest civ in the world. We just got a great merchant, that's fantastic. 
And uh, let's set up here. And jeez, uh, all right. I guess we're gonna move these guys out. Um, we'll move these ones up. These ones over. Leave him there. We'll bring up one more catapult for reinforcements, but otherwise, uh, this dude's gonna die here quickly. All right, and uh, we got a great merchant here, and oh boy. What do I want to do? Well, um, we've got a very, very gold uh, focused city over here Ber at uh, Berlin. Uh, we also have a ton of gold here, but this one's not generating nearly as much. Unfortunately, it's got plus 16. Oh man, so tempting to... You know, maybe I should build a gold plot over here in one of my farm tiles. I'm thinking. Let's see, um, I'd lose out on plus two and one if I do this, these planes, which is fine. Alright, and then these knights we're just going to fortify, let them heal up, and uh, we'll have these guys set up. Okay, choose production, uh, what do we want to build here? Uh... I'm thinking we're going to go with the bank. Use production. Uh, ch caravan, I think. Yeah, we'll do caravan and then we'll do the caravansary. Alright, next turn. And then after this, I think we might be able to dominate the world. I am, honestly, the who I'm worried about the most right now are the Aztecs to our west. Uh, just because they've got, again, some really nice cities. You see a POP 17, a POP 11. Um, I'm sure that they are uh, doing very well with their research and everything. Um, I'm not convinced that these guys are going to be able to reach. Oh, they are. Okay. Alright. You know what? I'm going to have to get my knights out of here. And uh, we're going to set up this catapult over here. And if I put this here, this will be plus four gold. It'll still maintain its hammer. The alternative is a trade mission. Large amount of gold and improving relations. Um, but that's just like a one-shot bonus. Versus this would be ongoing, plus four. So I just went and can consumed him on that. Uh, we're gonna bring this catapult up. And then, uh, reinforce it a bit with knights. Alright, um, this is actually making me a little bit nervous, so I'm gonna start bringing more catapults over. These cities, uh, are so buff for whatever reason. Uh, I don't see... Oh, he does have walls. Alright, that's why. I was gonna say I didn't understand why that city-state city was able to take such a pounding, but... Uh, I guess that explains it. Alright, uh, Agent has been discovered. He's secretly plotting against an unmet civilization. Wow. Well, I guess it's good it's not me, but he must have met somebody that I'm not uh, familiar with. Oh, come on, China. China's denouncing us. China, we will kick your ass. Alright. Another great person. Holy shit, we are getting great people so often now. Alright, we're just gonna go and uh, do a series of bombardments. And since we're in rough terrain right now, we're gonna go rough. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while here. We're gonna need at least one more turn. And uh, China is making me really nervous. You know, pe people have been asking me, uh, you know, to like go the, the peaceful route, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Enhance religion, he can enhance it. Uh, spread. 
Ooh, enhance. Um, add two new beliefs. You'll also have the option to buy Inquisitors to defend your religion. I think I'm going to enhance. Alright. After uh, doing that, let's see what we want to do next. Um, uh, I think I'm going to do the Artist Guild. Just get that out of the way. Use production up here, Nive or Nineveh. Gonna do a market. Gonna adopt, adopt a new policy here. Uh, purchasing items in cities requires 25% less gold, plus one science from every mint market. That's actually really nice. Uh, great merchants earn 25% faster. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Wait. I could also now do rationalism and... Uh, let's see... Grant plus 10 science while the Empire is happy. Unlocks building the porcelain tower. Plus two from every specialist. Great scientists are in quicker. Oh man, that's nice. Free thoughts is plus one science from every trading post. And plus 17 uh, from universities. This would be really good if I want to get a science lead. But I can also get science from this too, so I'm going to go with this for now. Alright, now we need to enhance our religion. For enhancing Buddhism, uh, second follower belief. Shrines provide plus one and happiness with three followers. Temples provide plus two. More faith, food, production. Um, gardens provide plus two happiness in city. I think I might go with this. Uh, get my people really, really happy. Or I could get more growth if I'm not at war. Um... I'm gonna go with that, actually. And then the Enhancer Belief. Uh, let's see. Religion spreads 25% faster. That would actually be really nice. Uh, religion spreads cities 30% further away. That's kind of nice, too. I'm gonna go with the faster option. And I think, uh, yeah, we're done. There we go. Religion Enhanced. Alright. Got our reinforcements uh, coming over. Actually, I probably won't need them, but... We'll see what uh, Sidon does with their next auto attack from the city. He's going for catapults. Yeah, actually, I may maybe we'll need one or two. Unfortunately, that city is uh, healing up quite a bit. Alright. So let's see what the best route is here. Um... Plus six, seven, uh, this will actually let us spread our religion. So I think I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna spread our religion more to Tokyo. And, uh, what am I looking at here? Why am I focused all the way over there? I don't know. Alright. So let's go ahead and, uh, bombard again. Probably should have upgraded my damn catapults when I had the opportunity. Yeah, we're going to need at least one more turn. Could be more than that. Not sure if I'm going to need this one, but I uh, might as well just bring it over there just in case. And... Besides that, I think we're okay. Alright, cheese production. Uh, what's next for these guys? Well... Uh, we want more happiness, so I'm going to build that garden. Oh no, the Caniversary. Or Caravan. Caravansary. Caravansary. I need to learn how to say things, obviously. Alright. Next turn! I don't think the next turn is going to be the one, but we'll see. I have a feeling I'm going to lose another catapult here. Gold income is crazy good right now, plus 58. Plus 64. Wow, that is fantastic. All right, now our uh, agent is a special agent. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal this catapult for the extra damage. There you go. Let's see if we could get this catapult. Yep, we can get it over there. This is it. Uh, next turn, he's gonna fall for sure. Uh, main issue is though, I'm gonna need my knight. And I can't actually go in the water here. Um, 
Alright, so next turn I'm going to move this catapult away, and then I'll have my night attack. Alright, choose production. Um, what do we want to do here? Ooh. I think I'm going to go with the uh, workshop. Get some more production. This is not a very good city in terms of production. Then we're going to build a market up here. We are positive. Oh, here we go. We can steal gunpowder or optics. Well, might as well take optics because we're almost done with gunpowder. Okay. All right. Unit needs orders. Um, well, you're just going to sit there, buddy. And then it's one more turn. Oh, wow. That catapult is still alive. That's nuts. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna be it. We're gonna move this catapult away. Move these knights in. There we go. Um, uh, I've got a lot of happiness right now, and I've got more on the way, so I think I'm going to annex uh, this one here. Just got a little achievement for that. Uh, so we do know that we need happiness. Let's see if we can build anything that will give us happiness. Uh, we're going to do the... Oh, man, we got nothing for happiness. Uh, or did we... Did, when we enhanced our religion... I think it's it was Temple would give us happiness, so let's go ahead and make that, and then of course we're going to do a courthouse up here. We're back to the negative happiness, which is fine. Not too worried about it, and now we're going to go set up uh, for China here, just in case China wants to mess with us. I don't want to start a war with China, but um, if they start a war with us, we need to be ready. And what do we have here? Oh, okay. We are going to take the knight out of here and put it in uh, Nineveh. And I saw a spy prompt and I didn't pay attention to what it was. Plus 66 gold a turn. This is nuts. Denouncing. Why? Japan, you're our best friend. Uh, we're going to go talk to Japan and I think we're going to give them a gift. We want to stay on good terms with Japan. Uh, we're going to give them five gold a turn. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him to do friendship. Alright, well... I guess we just found out he's spying on us. Alright, choose production. Uh, next up, we're going to build a workshop, a shop, I'm thinking, to get more hammers. And... Uh, should we go after Hong Kong or be friends with them? That's really, really tough, or really tough right now. I do think I want to give some gifts and make friends with these city-states. We're going to give them 500 now we're allies. Which is great. And uh, who else? Do we have any other city-states I want to be friends with? Uh, this would help me with religion. Let's see. They do not fear your military and will resist tribute demands. Well... I do want to increase my faith. Let's go ahead and give them a nice gift too. Oh, we are not actually true allies, so we're going to have to give them more gold. There we go. Now we're an ally. We've got two city-states that are allies. And I think we are done. Are we done mapping with our trireme? I think so. We're going to go ahead and disband the trireme. And then get the catapults over to China. 
Just in case stuff has to go down. Put these guys in there. Let's go to our next turn. All right. Oh, we got our gunpowder. And, uh, let's see. Alright, choose production. Um. Oh, it would be nice to have some more hammers out of this city as well. We got all these hills, might as well. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're back to positive happiness. Alright, so, uh, next up, let's look at the big picture, I'm thinking. And, uh... Do I want to go printing press, or do I want to go economics? I think I'm going to try to go for economics. And just keep maximizing our gold income, and uh, getting the assistance of these city-states. This is kind of tempting uh, to make friends with Hong Kong, but again, they are in between my uh, sieve here. Alright, so I thought I told the catapults to keep moving. I must have moved units into the tiles that they were trying to get to. Alright, next turn. So this is where uh, civilization gets really, really crazy. Um, probably within the next 15 turns or so, shit's gonna get crazy. Uh, because everybody is getting uh, to the later tiers of tech now, and uh, let's see. Samurai have been spotted. I don't like that. I think we need to reinforce these cities down here. Let's go ahead and try to talk to Japan once again. I don't want them to be guarded with me. Alright, so he'll accept uh, the embassy. I can give him an ivory. I'm going to give him a, a better deal. He just said it was generous. Alright. And then, uh, let's see, we'll get happiness out of this garden, so I'm gonna go with that. 79 gold a turn. Uh, we'll do watermill, we'll get our, uh, we'll get things moving again for growth in Esser. I do want to get at least one catapult down here, too. Probably be a good idea to put walls up around this, although now that we're moving into gunpowder, walls become less effective. I just don't like the fact that the samurais are sitting there. No longer ally of Panama City. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. The catapult. Here's production. Um, well, I don't need walls. Uh, this might be good if I go to war again. I am having a problem with food, though. Uh, I'm not sure if... Let's see. We have no fish off the coast, but... Uh, what's going to benefit us most right now? I don't want to build more military. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Himeji Castle. And unfortunately, my Windows clock is frozen for whatever reason, so I don't really know how long I've been running here. Which is actually quite a bit annoying. We 
We got a Chinese warrior near our land. I don't know why. I think we're good to continue on here. China's moving more military around. Not sure what they're up to. And we have a Japanese scout. 82 gold a turn. Ah, uh, shit. There's a rebel unit. Alright. We're just gonna have these guys fortify. Move these into territory and then we'll upgrade those and, uh... There we go. Alright, Nineveh, uh... Could benefit from some extra hammers. We've got way uh, more gold than we need, so we might as well. Um, I do think that I want to... We're gonna pledge to protect these guys. We're gonna give them another gift. And that increased our faith to uh, 20. Now we can actually begin purchasing uh, some units here. Oh, uh, I need to move the Great Engineer up. Alright, so... Does not have enough faith. Oh, crap, it's 200. Damn it. Alright, choose production. Um, finish a water mill. So, uh, oh man, we need happiness here. So I'll go with the Coliseum. And unit needs orders. Uh, I do want to save this guy, so we're going to go ahead and put him inside the moke. Uh-oh. Sistine Chapel was built somewhere else. And that... Japanese Samurai is moving. I don't like that at all. Plus 100 gold a turn. Oh, not anymore. Alright. I think I'm going to give myself one more turn and then wrap up um, this episode. Unless something really exciting happens. Uh, again, I cannot see how much time I've been recording this episode for. Normally I am able to keep an eye on it. I don't want it to turn into an hour long episode, but... Uh, I do want more science, and this is a decent city for science, so we're going to go with the university. And... Uh, I think I do want to go with the shrine. I, I want to increase my religion. The reach of it. And we can see that we've actually got a decent spread here. Up until go shoot. Alright. Coliseum will help me with happiness as well. Ultimately I want happy citizens. That's good for everybody. Okay, we're going to upgrade the trebuchet. Um, I can afford to keep these units, so I might as well. And we need to set up a new trade route. Um, okay. We could get a really high level pressure on Hong Kong if, if we do this. And we'll get 9 gold a turn out of it. The alternatives are, uh, let's see. Oh, I could also pressure my own cities, but then I don't get the gold bonus. Um, let's actually do that. Let's let's get some religious pressure out on Nineveh. That's done. I lost the gold benefit of that, but it will uh, probably prove to be a good thing in the long run. Each turn, your influence with them will change by negative 187, and it rests at 10. They've got... Uh, actually, they're not really getting all that much of a religious pressure out of me. 
All right, we're gonna put Thomas Edison in, er, in there. We're gonna set these guys up to fire and leave them parked. And uh, we're also gonna set these ones up here. Yeah, have these guys set up to fire and also parked. Put these guys up on a hill. And also get my great general out here. All right, choose production. Um, yeah, why not? We're gonna go with the temple. We want to start getting that religion to spread eastward. They actually do have some followers, and they got a lot of pressure on me here. See, if if they have my religion, it's gonna be a, a really good thing for peace. All right, this is gonna be my last turn, actually. For this episode. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. I hope Japan does not declare war on me or anything. Otherwise, it's going to be really scary. Because uh, those guys are actually huge allies of mine. All game that, you know, we've been best buddies. We've got really good trade routes going. Wow, he's, he's stocking up on the samurais. Alright, uh, we could upgrade this unit to a crossbowman, might as well. And, uh, change production. What? Did we not complete the wonder? We were building a wonder, weren't we? I don't know what happened. Alright, um... Well, um, I'm thinking maybe I should start doing workers then, and, uh, just making sure that we're good on that front with all these cities. And then I think we're going to go and, um, oh man, uh, I'm going to go with the bank. All right, so, uh, we're going to leave things off here. Uh, what we accomplished in this episode was we took out Sidon, uh, just about to complete a courthouse. Uh, we've been denounced by both China and Japan, which makes me nervous. And meanwhile, we're spying on the Aztecs. Uh, which could actually backfire. Uh, but otherwise, we've got a pretty damn good empire here. Um, city size is pretty decent. Nowhere near the Aztecs uh, for largest city. Uh, but we make up for that in numbers. We got uh, three cities up here. Uh, five down here. And uh, we also have some allies with these city-states. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am going to uh, continue the series and upload the next part as soon as I'm able. And uh, let me guys, or <laughs> let me guys, let me know what you guys want uh, to see, potentially, if I do go and, uh, you know, either go warmongering here or uh, try to win via peaceful means. Definitely let me know in the comments. Aside from that, guys, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.